Dr. Goldfarb, and I'm the head of renal transplantation at the Glickman Urological and Kidney Institute. The shortage of organs is the most compelling problem in transplantation today. One of the most important ways to close this gap is by performing living donor kidney transplantation. It now has a well-defined safety profile. In the past 10 years, significant increases in living donation have occurred because of new methods that decrease morbidity for the donors. The new procedure is called laparoscopic living donor nephrectomy. The laparoscopic donor nephrectomy is now an established minimally invasive procedure for removal of a living donor kidney. Cleveland Clinic surgeons have pioneered the development of this procedure. There are three small incisions the size of a quarter on the upper abdomen for placement of slender laparoscopic instruments. The kidney removal site is in the bikini line. Following placement of the instruments, the bowel is mobilized and the kidney is exposed. The ureter is first identified. The gonadal vein helps to identify the boundaries of the dissection. Tributary vessels, such as the adrenal and the gonadal vein, are controlled. Next, the adrenal gland is separated from the kidney. Then the major renal vessels, the renal vein, and then the renal artery are dissected free from surrounding tissues. Attention now returns to the ureter, which is now divided at an appropriate length, along with some surrounding tissue in order to preserve the ureteral blood supply. Once this is completed, the kidney extraction incision is made in the bikini line. Its length is the width of a surgeon's hand, or about four inches. The surgeon now turns attention back to the major kidney vessels. The artery is the first to be ligated. It is controlled with either clips as shown or a stapling device. The vein is controlled with a stapling device. Finally, the surgeon reaches in to retrieve the kidney through the bikini line incision. The kidney is immediately placed into an ice basin to help preserve the kidney for transplantation. All wounds are then closed and the donor is recovered. The hospital stay is usually two to three days and most donors return to normal activity by three to four weeks.